just in time for the thrilling conclusion here. Episode 5 of the first season of Telltale Batman. Let's jump right into it. I'm too excited to delay. I've got my bat gadgets ready from my makeshift utility belt. I will be flinging uh, batarangs made from discarded aluminum cans throughout the experience. I hope you have a similar setup and are focused on justice. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the veils killed? I never said he killed the veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? I've got some other business I need to take care of. What the hell did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. That's what a leader does. You don't understand, Batman. Without me, Gotham is doomed. Thank God he was finally stopped. Nice work, Batman. My job's not done yet. I still need to find Lady Arkham before it's too late. Bruce, all of your bat tech is linked to this computer. If you take it offline, it will all be inoperable. If Penguin hacks in, he'll have control of all of it. I have to shut it down. All right. So we are going into episode five, Techless. Without access to the main uh, computer system and all of my gadgets, never mind the utility belt. We'll leave it at home. Good morning and welcome all. So, so nice to see you there. I hope your respective days are treating you well. At least as well as the citizens of Gotham's leg bones are about to be treated by me. No, oh, better. Better, I hope. Breaking news. The children of Arkham have taken hostages. High-profile Gotham citizens, including Police Commissioner Peter Grogan, who was taken while attempting to intervene. I repeat, the children oh no, of Arkham have taken hostages. the commissioner's in danger. Hostages. I guess we'll have to replace him. Carry on, Wonder who could possibly be up for the job. Time to get the bat's attention. isn't cool. It's not cool, guys. Sorry, it took me a second. Right on top. Leave that commissioner alone. I can't just leave these people. That was my bat neck. You bat jackass. Back outside the cafe sad times, I see. One of my eyes is a treat. Not now. Oh, that's a bad 
time for a malfunction. And after I was so callous about it, and he saved my life. Oh yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be breathing through a tube for a while. You have to stop them. Save our city. I'm trying, Peter Grogan. I, I'm trying. Commissioner, Commissioner. He's he's gone. Oh well, flowers for the widows. I'm out of here. A rough week for Batman. And the police commissioner dies and he just he just not, does not have time to deal with it. A lot harder getting around the rooftops without that grappling hook. I'll just leave that around for some kid oh, to find. Thank That'll be God. Fun. With the comms offline, I've no idea what's happening out there. I always fear the worst. I'm using my burner phone, Alfred. Figure out Penguin's next move. I can't let him keep hurting innocent. In the middle of my conversation with Alfred. Penguin improved the armor. Batman! Impressive as ever! Life off the grid must be treating you well, huh? What's your point? My point is, you're at the end of your rope. You can't even stop me off in a police commissioner. <laughs> Without your toys, you're nothing. Just turn yourself over to my men. Scouts on it. I don't need any toys. I don't need toys to deal with the likes of you. You sure about that, Batman? Because from the look of it, you could use a little help. Ta-ta, Batman! A help, sure. No, no, come on, just stay put. You'd like that, wouldn't you? I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction. Bloody what now? What was that? If I can just find a way to hack into it, I can get to Penguin. He's made improvements, even deadlier than before. Wayne Tech, in Penguin's hands. It's a dangerous weapon. Excuse me for one second. I'm just gonna I'm gonna tear out this gash here. Hold on. I'm just going to wire these exposed wires into my phone. One second. Anything? One of his men used a device that targeted my armor. If Penguin has more devices like that... The bat suit will be a liability. It's already in bad shape. It couldn't protect me from a knife, let alone Penguin's new arsenal. If Batman can't take the fight to Penguin, maybe Bruce Wayne can. Face Penguin as Bruce? Without your armor, you'll be more vulnerable. But far from helpless. And meeting him as Batman would play right into his hand. Penguin wants hostages to bait Batman. Bruce Wayne will be the perfect hostage. You can get close and strike when he least expects Batman it. Batman can't resist a pretty boy. Besides, I won't be going alone. Get Gordon on the line. Give him our files on Oswald Cobblepot. Tell him that we did a little digging after he took my position as CEO. He should know who really killed Commissioner Grogan. And that the killer will be in Cobblepot Park. Tell him that Bruce Wayne... And to open fire. Tell him to bring his most trigger-happy guys. Because I got nothing here. I'm just going to be walking in with a suit.
I know I've been harsh with you, with you in the past, Alfred, but I think it's finally time to deploy the bat nipples. Lieutenant, these officers are at risk. Form hey, factor will hide nicely under my hoodie. Now, that's my fault. Yeah, that's all on me now. Martinez! Because I called them here. I saw... some kind of transmitter... in behind the statue. Give us room. Transmitter? Wayne Tech. Controlling the drones. God damn it! Some of my officers are still in there. I'm not gonna let some poopy thief kill my men! If you can destroy the transmitter, Oswald loses control of the drones. There's no way to get to it. You heard Martinez. Lieutenant, you need a distraction. I can keep him talking while you get into position. How the hell are you gonna do that? I don't think I'm just gonna walk to the in there and start talking. Him is at the top of his priority list. I'm the last person Oswald will expect. I can use that. This isn't a gala, Mr. Wayne. Just making an appearance. It's about to be. Jack all. Trust me, Lieutenant. I'm your best shot at getting those officers out alive. This is insane. I'm gonna turn this into the fanciest cotillion around. Options. I'll go in around the back. If he sees me... He won't. I'll keep him focused on me. You will get your chance. Keep the perimeter tight. Pinky's up, he everyone. I'm going in. Before those drones are offline, we're both dead. Same device that fried the suit. It's a hell of a trap, Oz. Really hope these bat nipples can make it through undetected, or I am in trouble. Oswald, it's me. It's Bruce. I'd like to have a chat with you. Remember when we were child oh, thieves, living in potholes on the streets of Gotham? And how we loved each other so? Because she's an Arkham. Those bullies aren't coming back. They better not. Oh, oh. They say bad things about my family. I'll smash the dumb faces. Stop us, please. <laughs> You're going to break the statue. Get the word out, eh? All the channels. The penguins got a Wayne in Cobblepot Park. Oswald. Don't suppose you brought a second Bruce. umbrella. I am well, getting a little uh, damp. The pigs back are making here. it hard to bring in the bait for Batman. But now that you're here, I have the perfect law. Not that I'm upset, but what does bring you by? Hmm? Never know. No, well, I knew you were going to, to be here due out. to my role as Batman. Feels too good to be true. I've come to talk, Oz. It's a bit late in the day for that. Still. I'm tough you popped by. Well, so far, only Gotham's finest have bothered to show. They paid for sticking their snouts in where they don't belong. You know, I'm surprised Batman's not already here to save you. He's usually so on top of everything. Maybe I need to cause a few more screams. Maybe he knows it's a trap. You haven't exactly been subtle. Maybe I'll See, just be honest with you, Oswald. Batman. You dangle an innocent life in front of him. And he has to show he can't help himself. Now well, you're right about and that. When he arrives, oh ho ho! The lights, the sounds, the blood running into the gutters. Once he's out of picture, there'll be that there'll much. Be nothing left in our Tell way. me more. Mine 
Oh, Lady Arkham's. She's How many milliliters exactly are we talking about? City, and they're about to kick into gear. Lady Arkham doesn't care about you, Oz. Look over She's here. She's just using you. Oh, we've got an understanding, her and I. We've done all right by all this brouhaha. Huh? It wasn't so long ago. You and me met in his very park. Me crawling out of the gutter. You looking down from on high. Take a gander at us now, eh? Night and day. You'd hardly recognize us, would you? I always treated you with respect, Oz. Respect? Oh, don't make me laugh. You only learned the word after I tossed you out of your company. Bradman! Yeah, you wish. Damn it. Where the hell is he? He's easily so bloody trapped. Unless... This wouldn't be some kind of plan, would it? You working with the bat? Oh, of course. Did you really come here all alone, Bruce? If anyone could afford to keep that brute on the payroll, it's you. Why, Oz? Are you scared of Batman? Might be, if I weren't so certain of my upper hand, as it were. Ah, not that you can't look after yourself. You certainly do know how to beat down an unarmed bat. I mean, the drug only reveals your true feelings. Felt like you were working out some issues there, eh, hey, Bruce? I am truly let's, let's sorry. Let's be real with each other guys. here. I never meant to hurt you so badly. I, I do deeply proud. regret you this. Pity me? I'm the one on top now, Bruce. And it's about bloody time. Your father locked my mum in Arkham Asylum to steal our fortune. He drove my own dad to suicide! Wayne's caused the ruin of my entire bloody family. Enough of this! You trying to get me all shaken up? I'm not waiting any Is it longer. working? That man be damned. We're done, chap, no friend. I'm releasing these drones. They'll make mutton out of you and all the lawmen around this park. And then on to the rest of this bloody city. All right, fine. It's my Now the second Oz. phase of distraction. What now? You're the right. bargaining. Everything that happened, everything you've gone through, that blame falls on me. On my whole family. How unlike you to admit your faults. Maybe you can uh, get Distracting, isn't it? Hey. Ah, but guess what? It won't. Oh, bloody hell! Now I'm going to show you what I can do when I'm not on drugs. Say hi to Daddy. Bruce, you, you bastard! It hurts in the leg bones, does it? Oh, that was a very good <laughs> shot from down there. Is that all Jeez. You've got? Show some dignity and defeat, Oswald. Freedom is right. Classic ribbon dancer brand. Gordon does have his vices. I gotta admit. You surprised me. You were right about this one. Gotham owes you a debt. The GCPD does too. I won't forget it. Thank you. Let's settle for a beer. Yeah, yeah I think we can make that happen. <laughs> you think this changes anything, do ya? Lady Arkham's gonna have your heads served up on a platter. He has a point. Usually I have my head served to me with a silver man. spoon, but okay. She's not gonna stand for this. No, she isn't. Never thought I'd say this, but... I hope to God that Batman has a better idea where she is than we do. Oh, he doesn't. Don't worry. No, he's completely stumped, in fact.
So it seems like a rather quick resolution to the Oswald uh, plotline. I do wonder what else is in store for us. Uh, quick before the credits wrap up there, that was lovely. What's going to happen now? How go the repairs? Going offline kept Penguin from finding the Batcave, but it also scrambled our system. The Bat computer barely runs, and worse, most of my tech isn't working. It's going to take time to get everything up and running again. I'm trying to make an omelet out of it, but ah, oh, man. It's going to make tracking down Lady Arkham a hell of a lot harder. You have proven that you don't need armor or gadgets to help this city. In the end, Bruce Wayne was the one to stop Penguin. Bruce, these last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. I worry Facing about the toll they've Harvey taken on you, Alfred. A matter of days. D not just the physical toll. Those were I mean, men you, you did have to shoot a man in the kneecap. Finding out what you did. How are you holding up? People must seem a great disappointment to you. Always. Yeah, remember when my down. parents died when I was like eight? People have always been a great disappointment to me. Well, not all people. You've never disappointed me, Alfred. But I have. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it. If I'd done something all those years ago, this... With your fists, this is you mean? My what? Fault. All of it. I told you I no, wanted Alfred, to leave your father's don't go down this path. Boy. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her... If I'd stopped Thomas... None of you would have ended up in have Arkham Asylum. Lady Arkham. Oswald. I don't blame you for what happened. My now. father was a criminal. You did the best you could in an impossible situation. And it helped to make me the man I am today. I... Now pull yourself together you, and Bruce. go stir some sugar into my tea. But like I, I pay you done. for. The children of Arkham are still out there. And Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, I can finally log into Wayne Enterprises and see exactly what can Oswald anyone was doing his time stop Lady Arkham? If I cross-reference that with all Thanks the data, I'm going to veil. We might be able to figure out the children. It's very reassuring to the populace. Vicky Vale, mid thirties, reporter for the Gotham Gazette, and not in the public record. Her true name. I forgot what she looked like, so I have to bring up this holographic record. To think she was here in the manor. She gave nothing away of her true nature then. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear. Not unlike Batman. I just need to find her. The children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get it looks justice very similar to the bat Arkham symbol, Asylum. wouldn't you say? Fell on deaf ears. I'm just back here drawing parallels. A uh, leader Gotham couldn't ignore. The Gazette's records of the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record she works for a newspaper, right. not unlike there you have in the past spoken to newspapers yet, about the exploits of Batman. Employ. 
Another parallel to be drawn, sir. This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. Whoa. That chair comes up pretty quick. Would hate to be standing in just the wrong spot. Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's see what Oswald was doing whoop, whoop. when he sat in my chair. Only had to be techless for about 15 minutes. That's nice. Master Cobblepot's nice sense of, of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? I'm definitely leaving it like this. This is how my computer system is going Oswald to be run from now on. Several public records using the Wayne network. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bad computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? Well, no surprise oh, here. Oh, we'll dig it out. Wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge. Ridiculous. <laughs> Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in sociology. And my medical records. There are some, well, but colorful diseases. Annoying, but not hard to fix. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's better. I'm cured. Oh. Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. It's going to be hard to explain at the next board meeting. Oswald was, <laughs> was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. He was Falcone Land? It... Falcone Island. Ah, I was close. Like Coney Island. We need to I get it out now. Arkham's next move. Of course. Hilarious. Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not. Unless. Hold on. I just found a secret penguin file. What do I have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with the Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. Assuming I already did, but let's double check it just in case. Now that we know how Oswald manipulated there we go. records, the back computer should be able to. There. No more holes. She was looking into Arkham patients, reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill. Falcone and my father. Well, that's a noble effort. Let's Vicky continue that. Deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums. 
all to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Bruce, With there, dirty hands. Dirt is. One of the dirt prototypes handed. has been stolen. By Lady Arkham? Not quite. I'm patching you the feed now. Oh, great. She stole from you? After we Stay out that of this, Selena. After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Why would she After do this? all of the breakfast bagels you <laughs> shared to go with, sir, I am... Uh, that selfish? She must yeah, have her reasons. She's probably just trying to buy her way I'm out of trouble sure again. Sure she does. The device Classic stole. cat woman. It's a prototype. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. Oh, well, that's what that we were just talking about, that Lady Arkham is trying to... Ah, oh, oh, I see. Especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. I'm going to get some answers from Selina. Oh, Catwoman, it's me, it's Bruce. Have a second for a chat. You're about to destroy the entire world again, just to selfishly get yourself out of trouble. And I understand, I do. But I'm just gonna need my skeleton key back. Damn it. Hey, Bruce. I wasn't expecting you. I thought I'd make it outside yeah, the city were. limits, at least. Clearly my ride needs a tune-up. If you wanted to see me, you could have just called. <laughs> the chase is so much more fun. But I know you're not here for me. Are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham, but the less noble options are so much more... exciting. Why should I give it back? So much potential. Because I'll Just beat you to death right here if you don't, I... Do. Thief of your class doesn't need a device No, maybe like that's that. not the way to It'll go. It'll be a crutch. <laughs> Says the man whose belt is an armory. Catch. I didn't have to quick time event it. I know you're just nice of them. into my pride. But you're right. I don't need a crutch. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, oh, he just wants to it be didn't understood. Take very long to get my introduction to his BFF, <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Oh, I just Imagine don't want to be understood. When the rich playboy turned out to be Batman, scourge of Gotham. I was always going to steal from Bruce Wayne. I just never expected he'd be so interesting. You talk a good game, but I don't buy it for a second. You're not that shallow. You really think you know me that well? I know that whatever this started as, that's not all it means to you now. The only thing it means... We're friends now, and you know it. ...is that I'm very good at my job. We're gonna work together whipping the criminals of Gotham of clean across their backsides for years. Fire, and I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more... 
meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but... But think of the fun. Someday, yeah. Maybe I will be able to leave Gotham. But for now, I am the only one who can save this city. So humble. It'll be good to put some distance look, between look us. Look at my car. After all, it's not look the time what happened for to humility. Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. Harvey was out of control, and he wanted to destroy Gotham. If you, if did, you that, did that, yeah. And yes, I put you behind bars in a heartbeat. Looks like we're back where we started when we first met on that rooftop. Enemies. That's not what I want, Selena. I don't want to be enemies. <sighs> Look, I was just Chris, confirming for you that there is an eventual line in the sand. It wasn't terrible. But you were just another job. A more intriguing job than I was expecting. But still a job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Stop. That's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're also a cool dude. Admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Now give her a little pat on the head and well, get out of here. You You've got the thing. That? I've made my feelings pretty clear. Why aren't you listening? You fought by my side. And together we saved a lot of lives. We're a good team, Selena. You had to know that wouldn't last. But it was nice. While it did. Yeah. You and know, that's all that friendship is. After I found out you were Batman. Just these little I moments we can think back on. Me, but with fondness. You just keep on surprising me. Come here, you. Well, it's been fun. Final ploy in my uh, ongoing plan. Bye, Selena. Just to Bye, let her thanks. feel my back muscles before she left. And we'll keep her interested, just in case. Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! I, I tried to keep them out, but... Alfred? My back muscles Alfred. are on the way. Lady Arkham is rooting through your unmentionables drawer. She's taking out the unmentionables. She's categorizing them alphabetically Alfred! on the bed. Oh no. Oh, Lucius, Alfred. It's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. Bring the taser lips. Need to focus. Figure out what happened gonna here. need them. What happened to you, Al? A scuff mark. What could have caused this? Scuffing. Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. Ash everywhere. 
What did they do to you, Alfred? In some circles, you have to pay a lot for a splash of Something mantle blood. Was the that artistic. This wall. Or someone. Check for Alfred's back fibers. On these shelves. Face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. This pool cue was used as a weapon. Swung so hard it broke in half. High velocity, would you say? Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon. Broke it across his attacker's head. When that didn't stop, good for him, you, Alfred. Used the jagged end of stab, spraying blood. Oh, double good for you, Alfred. This came from Alfred here the at one point. To fend off an attacker, but it was knocked away. But still, hell of a throw. The lock's been completely destroyed. Alfred must have barricaded himself in here, but they got in anyway. Out of points. Or maybe, maybe I'm Arkham missing must one. have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. Ah, that would make sense. I know what happened. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads, then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. But Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. Not his face. Wait. That picture doesn't belong there. Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. Alfred. The butler did it. Password reckoning. You have no, no idea. No. This doesn't bode well. Somebody's leg bones are gonna pay for this. And somebody else's leg bones are gonna be ground into a fine powder to be used for potion making. Oh, sorry. I don't know who that was. Bruce Wayne, you should be rotting in a padded cell. 
cell. Now, your butler. The man who raised you like his own son. It's more of a You'll gentleman's gentleman, if we're place. being honest. But don't worry. You'll get him back eventually. Peace, my bloody peace. No. Alfred. Oh. My God. We have to keep a cool head, Lucius. Worrying isn't going to help Alfred. We need to focus. You're right. Let's get started. Then when the time comes, we beat her over the head just for every time she beat him over the head. The reflection. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. <laughs> he knows the back computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. And I can view the virtual image using my cowl. Good thinking, Alfred. Okay, Lucius. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Here we go. Paint us. Okay. No, I caught on after a second there. Professional grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. Stairs leading up. Cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Nothing else to see here. Moving on. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. A mason stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built in That's 1945 the one. by them. That's a big lead. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. A basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. They're by a bus stop. There we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. All right. Basements. Built in 1945. Searching for all homes built on that date. Next to a bus stop. Get the bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. That have been serviced by Rogers. These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. A corner store. That seems unlikely. Bowling alley. <sighs> Damn it. Let's keep looking. One of those Masonic bowling alleys, you know. You are not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House, where she killed her foster parents. According to its records, it has a basement. We know where Alfred That's is. That's very convenient because we can just re-render that same room. asset from earlier. One of the early prototypes. It has basic cowl functionality, but outside of that, it doesn't protect much more than your identity, I'm afraid. Oh, yeah. Classic old school bad Good suit. Call. Thank you, Lucius. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it should still scare the crap out of criminals. Should also scare the crap out of any collector. This ends tonight. I was hoping it would be in good, uh, good condition by the time they got to it. Oh.
Oh man, that's like a classic bat suit, and he's just using it to kill criminals? Do you know what that thing would be worth on the Ebays? Heading into the basement. Be careful. I'm all right. Almost got shot in my bat bottom. There's no one here. No Alfred. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. I'm going to see what I can find. Standing by. Blood hasn't congealed yet. Means we can't be far behind them. This is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. This is where they fed him beets. And the juice has gotten everywhere. There's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. Sounds like this is some sort of freaky Freemason basement. Why would the Veils have a false wall in their basement? Now let's find out what the Veils Let's try the non-violent option first. There we go. Just a normal door. No need to kick it. There's a small room. With a hole in the floor. A rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. Alfred! Down here would be trapped, you say? Let's go down. Anything I'm missing? Nope. I'm going inside. Whoa, Alfred, I found a whole bunch of weed. Wait a minute. These are child's chalk drawings. This is... This isn't weed at all. Ow. Bruce, what's down there? Do I'm you see suddenly Alfred? not feeling, no. uh... It's some kind not of... Not feeling remorse for Mr. and Mrs. Chamber. Vale. Shackles, belts, blood. What? I'm really not. Vicky, she was kept down here, locked away. Who could do that that to must be child. what he meant by being sent to punishment. Ah. What is there to oh, understand? No. To willfully hurt a child. It's why she killed the Veils. They abused her. I'm not saying what she did was right, but... But... I can't imagine what she went through. The Veils' foster children may not have been the only ones to suffer here. I followed Alfred's blood into this hole. If he had any opportunity at all, he would have left me a clue. Alfred's glasses. Now oh, that uh, that really does pull the this rug out from under things. Must. must be Alfred's. I am one uncomfortable Batman. There are drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chalk here is different. Newer. One piece apart from the others. Red. Mm -hmm. The same color as my tack. Can't be a coincidence. Maybe... 
Those towers. That must be Arkham Asylum. Okay, sure. I mean, that could be literally anything, but yeah. Words. They're highlighted. Taking me. Vicky's own drawing of Arkham for the location. Arkham? But people would know. The staff would see them. That's the final piece. Arkham. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems. Including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors. Release the inmates. And she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon in the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. Okay. Let's go back to Arkham and see our friend John Doe in all of this. I'm sure he's riding it out without incident. Like a good patient. <laughs> Classic sock puppet out the cell door gag for you there. Everything good? Orderlies are rounded up. That's the last of it, then. The children of Arkham have taken over. Lieutenant Gordon says the GCPD are on their way. He's leading the team himself. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his payroll. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse. In no, Bruce he won't. Family. He's done nothing to you. He's not part of this. Of course he's a part of this. He's the one man Bruce Wayne might actually care about. Besides himself, his suffering will teach Wayne a lesson. One he and all of Gotham needs to learn. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you, Vicky? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I know you suffered. You were tortured, held captive by the people who were supposed to love you. I don't know how you survived. You wouldn't know how I survived. I survived. Because every night, I dreamed of the revenge I'd take on them. And this forsaken city. Your time's run out. Ooh, nice move. Vicky! There's nothing you can do, Batman. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Uh... 
That's gonna let Victor's ass out. You really shouldn't. Even Calendar Man. I mean, we, we have to think about this, Vicky. Think about what Calendar Man is going to do. Me too. Let me have him. He's the crazy one. Masons did make that bowling alley after all. Hey, Harv. Huzzah. Back off, Team Wolf. I think that was supposed to imply that he quickly saved the orderlies and then was gone in a blink. If, if you were unsure for a moment, as I was, what exactly the point of that was. This is no time for a food fight. You're not getting away, Vicky. Light fixture, yeah. After that, we gotta go kitchen. He's trying to crush the orderly's trachea. What a jerk. You leave that trachea alone. And then it's it's got to be door. Oh yeah, that's going to work out well. Taser time. Taste of your own medicine, sir. Finally. Oh, we're gonna go back to table. Or I guess the table is going to come to her. Okay. For the encouragement, John. To work Good to person. see you. Jesus. Gordon's here. We'll round up the rest of the inmates. You stop, Lady Arkham. You got it. Thanks again for your help, Jim. I really appreciate the shot Zaz in the hand. 
great shot. Hmm. Harvey's noticeably absent. I There's see. There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly. They speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. Down we go. Is this the shortcut to Falcone Island? Are we gonna get some corn dogs? Because I've been fighting for a while now and I'm a little bit fatigued, and a corn dog is gonna pep me up. No, no time? Okay. Stay back. I will rang you. Don't make me rang. Vicky! <laughs> Now have no There it is. Let him go. The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wayne's sins. Once he again, no, he does so not. I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. If anyone can find him, it's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. I'll bring you Wayne. But first, let Alfred Pennyworth go. No, no, no. Afraid he's too useful to do that just yet. Well, he is very useful. You're doing so much. Has he made you tea man? yet? It's mm, just ah, pitch perfect. Been over. Vicky, stop playing games. This isn't a creepy dungeon trap me. full of syringes. I'm impressed. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for Gotham. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Can you see that? We want the same things! But no. Of course you don't see. Well, I've got our monologuing. May as well not interrupt it now. I'll just keep sneaking through the crypt here. Oh, nope. I'm back at the other end. I'm trying here. to throw her you off the scent. Him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than he hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward, leaving other men to carry his burdens. You aren't my enemy, Batman. Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? No, it's like are a, you it's a fetish thing. Let's not get into the it. Mask? The mask is a symbol. Some fear it. But for others, it brings hope. When I first saw it, I found it inspiring. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath.
They call this sequence boot steps in the undercroft. It's very dramatic, yes. Hold I on. don't like that. Oh, yeah. I don't like that at all. Yeah. You came. You came for me. Uh, after what you said, I knew you'd come. The man. The man I, I made you. Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Uh, above you! <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar. Alfred. <sighs> Such concern. For someone you've never met before. Release him. Then we'll talk. <laughs> you know, I just don't believe you. I think Alfred may be the only way I can make you talk. It makes me wonder. Do you really care? Only one way to find out. Batman, don't you... Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. If that's what yeah, sure. To that's see. fine. No! Surprise! No, Bruce. This must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can pray. And that was your me. moment while the she was looking away, right there. Just that was like it. Your father did. A true oh well, way. we've missed it. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. You're right about my father. The things he did are unforgivable. But I am trying to make up for his crimes. I wear this mask to help people. I'm not some naive socialite you can sweet talk. I know a liar when I see one. <laughs> Did you just take a piece of that man's ear? No more lies! No more talk! The only truth left is in your death! those rocket boots to my advantage. Uh, Come on now, you'll figure it out. I'm calling them because 
I'm definitely adding them to my arsenal. And he's full. He's fully charged. Get out of here before they have to use that one crumbly sound effect over and over again. All right, let's get you to the hospital, buddy. I don't think my first aid kit in the car is going to do much for this. I'm missing a piece of ear Astor now. Weeks, Apparently that's, that's going to be permanent. A spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> If the public knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. Uh, this came in the mail. It's unsigned. Selena. With everything that's been going on, yeah, uh, I'm just going to be missing I that ear now. Haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, I sacrificing like it. your identity for my safety. But, uh, That's character. It was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain, gone. Without you, yeah, you were in none danger. of this would work. You are my family. It's the piece of this that it's hard for you to see. Because you, you care more about me than you care you about yourself. But see, for me, it's exactly the opposite, Alfred. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> that it does. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. Lady Arkham, Penguin, Harvey. They won't be the last to threaten Gotham. Likely not, but you'll be ready. In the meantime, 
Let us hope for some peace. To peace. I don't have any leads on Calendar Man at this point. He's just out in the, the ether, waiting to strike. Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably... Really need to shaken. speak to your graphics department. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, mm. that Gotham's leading citizens I love a will man come in out stars. to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne There is literally is. nowhere I would Let rather be than behind Commissioner Gordon. For his future. Well, this could be a first start. For you, Wait, that came out wrong. I just mean... For this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. Now, oh, this seems like a hugging moment. Do you want to hug me? I want to hug you. Do you should we? Thank you, Alfred. Maybe just. Oh, so, look at that sweet little face. What do you to do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Oh yeah. Perhaps one. This whole sequence mask. has been about Bruce. One is who you truly believe. Let's go as Bruce to, know, to finish the sequence. Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful. Let's get this train back on track. We have a city to clean, after all. A city to clean, a John Doe to chill with, after hours. Him and I are going to catch up on Tiger King together. It's going to be great. Commissioner Gordon. He is here. Five episodes Gordon. and not a single working no, cigarette. I'm right. proud of you. Don't worry. It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. What uh, happened to your ear? It looks painful. Cut myself shaving. What'd you use, a <laughs> chainsaw? <laughs> well, to be honest, I was surprised to get you a call. Now, after that nasty business at your manor, I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that, I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. Well, before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. It's time I owned my family's past. Take responsibility for what my father did so we can all move forward. You know, that can't be easy. But I'm glad that you're here. I was half hoping Batman I'm glad might that you're here too, too, Gordon. I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. Not to mention, <laughs> he makes one hell of an impression on people. If Batman isn't here, it's because he's more needed somewhere else. I wouldn't take it personally. <laughs> Good advice when it comes to that guy. They're ready for you, Commissioner. 
Now, during times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I have hope. Hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now, in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. Thank you, Commissioner. Oh, uh, okay, Gordon. that's the introduction. Tough dog to I got it. <laughs> I thought that was just the start of a list, but sure, I'm, I'm ready. I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses. Some, some, of, you of, losses. some of you have lost came your families. Some of you have lost your ears. of my own father, or at least as a result of his actions. I would like to take this opportunity to apologize. To tell you how sorry I am for the pain the Wayne family has caused this community. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end... Mm. This was the original plan, I am yeah. Ceasing construction but now that Commissioner Gordon is in charge, Instead, I'll the other option's all good, too. resources to improving the existing Arkham Asylum. It will be the most advanced mental health treatment facility in the country, in keeping with the vision of its founders. Stealing a man. Okay. Random act of violence, I assume. Couldn't have been helped. Nothing to do with me, really. Just minutes ago, Bruce Wayne delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. He sure does clean up well. See you soon, Bruce. Looking good, John. See how my uh, choices stack up. Oh, good. Did you blame Alfred? No, I comforted Alfred that he was not to blame. 2.1% of players did not respond as Alfred blamed himself. Oh, that's sad. I blame myself, sir, and I wonder if you have any comforting words. S sir Oh oh sir, will you not even speak to me? After everything I've done oh, the heartbreak I feel in this moment is more than I can bear, sir. I will go to the east and I will fade away. It's done. That's the whole scene, if you missed it. Well, yeah. How could you not? She's much more than a thief. She's Catwoman. I really hope she's dead. 
I hate to wish ill on a woman, but she knows my face. She, she's seen my identity. I really hope she's dead. Oh, good. Everyone doing the right thing. Taking responsibility for themselves. Well, all right, that went great. Sure. Season overview. I was 54% cunning, but uh, it cost me some honesty. And that's fair. Super merciful, super collaborative, and fairly compassionate overall. Good for you, Bruce. I think you may be able to get, like, different versions of that. Like, you may be able to see, your Alfred was this, your Gordon was this. It may just be, like, in another menu, or you may have to look it up online or something. I thought there was more to that. Let me check. But maybe I'm thinking wrong and it's always the same. Huh. <laughs> Because, like, when I first played through this, I thought at the very, very end I got an Alfred version of that. But maybe I'm crazy. Anyway, that is it. That is the first season. And thank you so much for coming along with me for the adventure. We uh, have another season to play eventually. We could probably even start it up next next weekend, perhaps, if, uh, if you've been enjoying these. I certainly have. Both the amazing storyline, the fun quick-time events, and the plentiful, uh, plentiful bugs that have been hilarious. I'm having a great time with all of it. There's no downside here. All right, thank you again for your time. Thank you for walking through the streets of Gotham with me, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.